Gishin Funakoshi, 1924 vintage film. Gishin Funakoshi, considered by most to be the father of modern karate, was born in 1868 and died in 1957 at the age of 88. He began his own karate training while in primary school in Okinawa under the tutelage of Azato Sensei. In 1902, he demonstrated karate for the commissioner of schools, which eventually led karate to becoming part of the physical education program in Okinawa, which to this very day it still remains. In this video, which was originally filmed in 1924, Master Funakoshi performs Meikyo Kata, Empi Kata, as well as the Naihanshi Sho, Ni, and San Katas, which later became known as the Teki Katas. The filming was done mostly at Keio University in Tokyo, Japan. Keio University was the first Japanese university to implement karate as part of the physical education program. This makes this footage most likely the first karate club in Japan. The filming was directed by Kasuya-san. It is also believed that this is the very first special summer training camp held in Japan. These camps are called Shochugeko. Not only are the students training in karate, but you will also see them training in other exercise programs meant to enhance their karate training while still having a good time. Later in the film, it appears that it was meant to be an educational film explaining the benefits of karate. This film goes hand in hand with Tote Jitsu, one of Funakoshi's first books, as not only was the filming done around the same time as the book was written, but the translation, according to Sensei Hidetaka Nishiyama, goes along with that which is in the Tote Jitsu. The translation explains that the pride of karate lies in its benefits of physical exercise the fact that it can be practiced anywhere and at any time. One can practice karate in a dojo, one's backyard or on a beach. It goes on to explain that the benefits of karate are for young and old, male and female. In essence, karate benefits everyone who trains in it, some way or another. Later in the film you will notice that the basics are demonstrated in a traditional manner, the way in which Funakoshi Sensei taught them. One should especially note the high stances in sharp contrast to today's long and low stances. In 1913, Funakoshi, a high school principal, organized a group of Okinawa's best karatekas to demonstrate their art. The demonstration team included such famous individuals as Choki Motobu, Kenwa Mabuni, and Kayan Sensei, and of course himself. Then in 1922, he performed karate for the first time in Japan at a very famous sports exhibition. It was during this visit to Japan that Funakoshi met Jigaro Kano, the founder of Judo, with whom he spent a great deal of time exchanging ideas and information. It was from these exchanges of ideas that Funakoshi implemented Jigaro Kano's grading system of colored belts. Kano, on the other hand, adopted many of the various karate techniques into the Judo curriculum. In 1933, the master changed the first kanji character from To, which meant China, to Kara, which means empty. He also changed the word Jitsu, which means fighting, to the word Do, which means way. He left the middle character, Te, as it was, which means heart, hand. Thus, the origin of the word Karate Do, which means empty, hand, way. The term Shotokan was developed by Funakoshi students. He did not believe that karate should be stylized. It was his belief that there was only one karate. In 1936, when the first actual dojo was opened in Tokyo, Japan, the students of Funakoshi decided to put his pen name, which was Shoto, above the door, along with Kan, which means and translates to the hall. Thus the origin of the word Shotokan the hall where Shoto trains. The students decided that this name was necessary as many other styles of karate were coming to Japan and they wanted a name with which to associate. In 1955, Funakoshi became the first head instructor of the Japanese Karate Association, the JKA. Many styles and famous martial artists individuals have been influenced by Master Funakoshi, including Judo's Jigaro Kano, 
Wataru's Hironori Otsuka, Kyoko Shinkai's Masoyama, and Kenwamabuni, but to mention a few. Funakoshi died in 1957, leaving in his place an art which he called Karate Do. Karate has since gone on to becoming an international martial art practiced literally by hundreds of thousands of practitioners, young and old, and in virtually every country in the world. All those who have ever donned a karate gi owe a great deal of respect and gratitude to this great karate master for his foresight and wisdom. Us. We would very much like to take this opportunity to thank Sensei Hidetaka Nishiyama, a direct student of Sensei Funakushi, for taking the time to review and authenticate this film as actually being Gishin Funakoshi.